Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. This I call the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. This I call Chapstick. I picked it at random. This is vanilla mint scented and flavored. I have 12 of them that I'm rotating through as well as a mint chocolate chip ice cream Tillamook. And they were all gifted to me. Um, what's on my face right now? Fen Fenty brow pencil. And it's almost done y'all. Look at this. That is it. It's just a little nub. But let me get to the intro. Um, the crazy because I forget I have intro to do. Seriously, the crazy just enjoying your channel, enjoying the videos you do, knowing it's okay to be yourself. If you're off, if you're goofy, good day, bad day, serious moment, want to crack jokes. All of that is a part of who you are. It's okay to be yourself. The troll part is not caring too much about the beauty community standards. Try not to feel like you need to use a certain brand, a certain tool, or a certain technique. Use whatever you want to, however you want to, because you need to be satisfied with how your makeup looks. Beneath all of that, though, here at the Crazy Troll Nation, we are about self-acceptance and self-love. Embracing your natural features, enhancing them if you want to, when you want to, but never feeling like you have to. You are amazing the way you are. Do not let anybody convince you differently. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time, welcome. If you are returning, what's up my troll Ken? So, oh, I do curse sometimes in videos because I do curse sometimes, period. So I hope that's not offensive. I do try to catch myself sometimes. It works, sometimes it doesn't. So what's on my face? Fenty Brow Pencil, Hydro Grip primer estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup four in two i have on the four in estee lauder double wear stay in place flawless wear concealer i set my face with the fashion fair set it loose powder and truly tawny um because i'm i think i'm going to declutter it i'm not sure the anastasia beverly hills off the costa rica we use all of these bronzer blush highlight and we use the Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. This is a cream blush. We put that on first, then the ABH blush. We put this highlighter on, and then the ABH highlighter, and then the bronzer. So that's everything on my face except Jabinesse Makeup Setting Spray Aerosol Makeup Mist. And I did wipe it off my lids, and just like the last two times I used it, my lids are burning. So this is, that's not good. I only like these two, using them together. Um, I do like the look. I did, that would have to just be that cheek situation, just using that together. So this video, we're going to jump in. I meant to prime my lids already because I got something to do in like 20 minutes. So if I run out of time, um, we'll come back and finish... But the face is done, so we just need to do the eyes. And what we're doing today, you see from the title, I do not clickbait. You see the palette and the thumbnail. You see the title. You know exactly what you're doing. I spent, oh my gosh, a lot of hours. I was going to say a lot of time, but a lot of hours going through my playlist and reorganizing them, making sure things were where they needed to be, um, trimming out the music from when I was doing the intro, outro, because... Those videos were not being monetized because the music was copywritten. And so I trimmed that out. So if you watch those, excuse me, old videos and you'll notice you'll you'll see the intro and the outro, but you don't hear music. That's why. Um, but you may not have even known, like if you you watch them for the first time. But a lot of those videos are up. I broke down a lot of other playlists. I broke down the... Um, Pat McGrath playlist so now each palette has his own playlist and that's something I thought to do during month of McGrath because I was using the individual palettes more for my other playlist for Nomad Natasha Denona I already had those palettes in an in individual playlist and also an overall playlist and I want to say I left no 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 I did not leave them in the overall playlist either and so if you want to look up a particular palette, it'll be easier to find. And also the playlist is in like 30, I'm sorry, like 90 something videos. Everything is really just broken down. So yeah, I spent a lot of time working on that. The behind the scenes stuff when you do videos, it's a lot. It's a lot if you want things to be organized. And even my um, hauls, I broke them down into year. 
in you know 2019 to 2021 because then I took a break from subscription boxes and then I restarted so there's a 2023 playlist and also for hauls I broke those down into years so if somebody clicks the haul video you will see just for that year or whatever year you want to see so I'm just babbling while I'm getting situated I have brushes pulled out most of them are Fenty brushes and this is what no Man Cosmetics Mount Verde Club Forest looks like it is upside down. The look we, re we are recreating is from August 22nd, 2022, and we used the bottom row right here. My technique has changed some, so I, I don't know, but I'm going to do it how it was written. And it says green snake. No, does it? Green vine snake on the lid. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> this is a fancy. This is powdery. I tapped it. And you probably can't see because the background is green. But there's like powder all around. Oh, I don't remember that being that way. Do I? I haven't used this in a while. This is the 230. And it says blending brush. But I use it as a packer. I, I remember from looking at pictures that I like the looks that I did with this palette. I don't know why I haven't been using it. Well, I know why I didn't use it in July. I didn't use a lot of stuff in July. Because it was all about Pat McGrath stuff. But I wanted to go back and revisit these palettes. And I don't think to use this palette, even though I like bold colors, I like bright colors. Of course, I like dark, smoky, swamp water type colors. I just don't think to pull this one out. And people thought it was chaotic, but to me it's not chaotic. It actually helps me to be creative. I don't think I'm creative in the makeup sense. You know, picking colors and combinations, and that's why I'll do columns or do rows because I'll make it work to the best of my ability. And I think what was challenging for some is it seems a lot of people do monochromatic looks. And if you look at this, you can easily do it. You see greens, you know, you see purples and pinks, so that's what you do. But some people don't venture outside of monochromatic looks or where it's like, a very apparent gradient in color and so if you're used to just having gradients and a palette is set out that way to do gradients according to color families then yeah this is like what the hell I'm gonna do with this but if you're the type that you like to experiment with makeup and you like to do new things try new things I do feel like this palette will spark your creativity because you'll look at it and be like okay what really goes with what but really, it all goes together. Well, except maybe that purple and the orange. But even with that, you can make it work. And so I did really like this palette. I don't know. I do I do think there's a, a madness to it and a method to that madness. When you look at how the palette is laid out and you look at the tones. Like, for example, excuse me for smacking. This shade here, even though it's green, it has a red tint to it. You see that? And it's next to a hot pink. So that goes. And then you got the green here. When you look at this shade here, this goes with this green. This right here, even though it has a green, greenish grayish base, it goes with the blue. So if you really look at it, it does go. And this is an easy row, super easy. This is easy too as well. You can do first half of the lid, second half of the lid, put this on center lid, or first half of the lid, or something like that. So, once you just really look at it, and even in rows, and columns, diagonals, or whatever, there is a method to it. And they placed the metallic shades near the shades that they will most likely go with. And so, when you look at it that way, because it's like... Okay, why is this way over here, but then this one over here? Well, because this one has a, a pinkish tint to it, so that goes with that one. You know what I mean? Why is this one over here? Because it goes with the blue. You see what I'm saying? And this could be a nice little quad right here. You see what I mean? Or if you just or an easy look, these three, if you wanted to do that. Or these three, if you wanted to do that. And so... It just depends. So some people really like this palette. And some people were just like, I don't know what to do with it. Honestly, I did receive this from the brand. I Honestly, I don't know if I would have purchased it. Because I wasn't at a place in my makeup journey where I was wanting to learn. 
how to do different color combinations. But having this sent to me, I was like, you know what? We're going to play with it. And I'm glad I did. And I thought, I never, I did, okay, let me get it right. I did think to declutter it only because I wasn't using it. But then when I look at it and I look back at the looks I did, I really like the looks. And it's an enjoyable palette to use. Like some palettes, it's like, oh, I like the look. But those shades, they were patchy. They didn't blend. Yada, yada, yada. And it's not worth the aggravation for me. But this one is enjoyable to use. And even though I am packing this on, it is going on. And I'm kind of throwing myself off here because... Looking at my notes, we have other shades that are going on the lid, but yet we have this on the lid. This is still that same blending brush I done packed, and now I'm blending. They say it's a blending brush, and it says on here blending, but uh, the shape of it, where well, you can turn it sideways, and you can blend this way too. Maybe I'll try that right now. It's, and I have <laughs> used it sideways before the, to blend. And so it is a blending brush, but it's also a packer brush. I'm going to take some more... And my alarm just went off 15 minutes till, sorry for poking you in the eye, I was turning the alarm off, 15 minutes till I got to do what I got to do. So today is August 3rd, the, the day that uh, Makeup by Torrance, our collab videos went live. Mine's at 7 a.m., his at 7 p.m., and right now it's 6.45, and so my alarm was set at 6.45 to make sure that I'm there in the audience to see the look that he does. And so that's what that alarm was. Don't have any fallout. The next shade we're gonna take says Green Spiny Lizard. And that's this shade. And this says Inner and Outer Corner. I don't know, this one is not powdery like the, well yeah it is. It depends on how I pick up with the brush. So I have this for Inner and Outer Corner. That's nice. I really don't think I would have purchased this because I would have looked at it and been like, what the hell am I going to do with that? But if you send me something, I'm going to try it. And I really do like the looks that I did. But I'm recreating this one because I was having issues uh, monetizing the other one. And it's really not that big of a deal because when you're monetized, and, and it does tell you, uh, well, what I'm about to, let me just say it. It tells you why your video wasn't monetized. And it said copyrighted content. And it shows you in the video where it is. And it was the intro and outro. But And it also says copyright revenue goes to the license holder of that copyright. And so the reason I'm saying it's not a big deal is that, okay, I'm not getting, you know, any pennies, <laughs> which is really what it is off of the ads from that video if anybody goes back to watch it. But the person who has that copyright, they get those pennies off of that. And so somebody is still being paid. Now we're going to take Two Toad Sloth, this shade right here. And this is also inner and outer corner and transition. Um, and I'm going to put this on the inside. And I do think I did this before. When I do spotlight eye looks, halo eye looks, I don't like it when the darkest shade is all the way on the outer corner and inner corner. I, I Because it just, uh, I just don't like it. <laughs> it may be my eye shape or it may just be what I like for me. I don't know. So that's why I don't put the deepest shade all the way out and all the way in. I take the second deepest and put it all the way out and all the way in. And you see where the deepest one is. And this is a little bit deeper than this, than how... Is showing up on my lid and that's because we're layering it over two other shades um and i wrote this this way and i did this look the first time this way because i'm like where am i going to put all these shades and it's like all these greens in this row but the look is pretty if i oh i don't know if i still have the look if i still have it in the calendar on my phone i will um, put that at the end along with um, this look to see how similar or dissimilar they are. Because sometimes I recreate looks and they're different because my technique has changed. Um, but I do think this is what it was. And it doesn't look like a lot of blending needs to be done, but we are just going to come outside of the brown and inside and just bring it inward and outward. So we're taking the brush all the way out 
all the way out and feathering it in and all the way in and feathering it to where's the center of the lid just to get a blend not necessarily to take the brown out but just to have a gradient instead of it just looking like which is what it was looking like to me and that's it for that one and the next shade is oh that was for transition area too i also don't really like bridging these shades are powdery so what i'm doing is is i'm sweeping around the pan <laughs> to get the shadow and now we're going to go straight in I'm, i feel like i need to use um a tapered brush because this brush is blunt so wherever I put it, that's where it's going to stay um, in a wider area versus tapered. I can get it right on that top edge and then blend it out. You see what I'm saying? Like I don't have a lot of control, but I've already started it. So we're going to finish it. I got 10 minutes to be off of here. So I think we're going to come back and... I am not liking that. I needed to use a tapered brush and I knew it and I didn't use it anyway. I don't remember this being this powdery, was it? I don't know. I should watch the video back and see if I mentioned it. So the video, I think I said it's to unlisted. So like if somebody has it, um, like say it was a collab video, which it wasn't, but if it was and that link is in their description box, if it's clicked, it can still be seen. But if somebody searches for it, that looks so different than this side. But if somebody just searches for it, it won't be there. But if you have the link already, you will be able to see it. This, I'm not liking this. I normally don't like when I bridge it because it just, I don't like my crease that dark. And you see how light this looks on the lid over the green because we layered it and up here, particularly this eye, it's just looking dark. That might be my lighting too because this way it doesn't look dark, but when I look straight, it doesn't look the same. Um, so what I'm going to do, the brush that had that second green shade, we're just going to tap along this top edge, not in the center but here and here. Like we're stopping where the brown is, right here and right here. So sort of like the outer transition and the inner transition. And we did not put more shadow on the brush, but I think I'm about to do that. And that shade was Green Spiny Lizard, this one. So we're gonna just, we just swiped it lightly one time and we're gonna tap there and tap there. Is that making a difference? This side needs more attention because this side you can see some of the green here where over here you cannot. So, okay, I did a slight swipe again and we're gonna put this here and right here. So not in the center. Okay, so now you see how there is shadow here and here and this whole area just isn't the brown. So now what we're gonna do, the second, the first shade, this is messy. Oh gosh. Green vine snake, the first shade we put on all over the lid. We tapped in that twice. This is, I don't remember this being powdery like that. And we're gonna tap on the lid again. And we're also gonna take it up here. So that way there's green speeding for smacking right here as well. I do not think this is what this looked like before. The first time I did looks with some of the Natasha Denona palettes, I did like the looks, but I was doing it the YouTuber's way, transition shade, crease shade, lid shade, and I was only putting the lid shade right here, which is the mobile lid, so when I look up, you couldn't see it, and it looks very nice, but like a year later, when I recreated those looks, that's when I was taking my lid shades up into the transition area, and the looks look so much better, and so to see what I'm talking about, what I'm thinking of now is um Natasha Denona Metropolis palette and so if you're just looking at playlist this is the brush that had that brown if you're just looking at playlist you'll see both looks the first one I did and then the recreations and it is such a difference and to me the looks look so much better after a year because I changed up my technique and stopped trying to do things the YouTubers way and did it in a way that I like for my eye shape 
So that is what that's looking like. And this really could be it because I'm really kind of digging it. And we do already have a blend from the transition shade. The next shade that we're going to take is Green Mountain, which is this one. And we're going to put that on the center of the lid. We are using a brush, even though it's a metallic. And this one is... Um, dusty, too. And that's... I'm going to go right there. And I can't see because someone's calling me. And when I get a phone call when I'm recording, it takes up the screen. <laughs> so I don't even know. Okay, it stopped ringing. And now I can see me up here. This is pretty. So it's going to be interesting for me to look back and see how similar or dissimilar it is. I'm loving the gradient. The brown is so light right here. In here and here. So... This looks darker in the pan, but like this, it doesn't. Nomad shadows for me tend to show up different on my lids than they do in a pan. I don't know why. They just do. What's the next thing? Passiflori on... This is dusty. This shade here. What? Oh, okay. First half lower lash line, and this one second half lower lash line, and also inner rim. So for the pink shade, for inner lower rim, we're going to take, this is um, a MAC Cosmetics Color Excess Stage 5 Clinger Retractable Eyeliner. So we're going to put that first half lower lash line and inner rim, and for the outer half, we're going to use NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Deep Blue. So we're going to put these on, oh, I got like six minutes. But you know what, since um, the bulk of the eye look is done, did I do inner rims before? I don't know. What am I doing? Like, how am I looking? Like, I don't even know. You know, if I'm starting to rush, and that's why I'm like, I don't understand what's happening right now. And this is not the right moment to rush when you're doing your inner rim. That is not the moment. Not at all. But I do want to make sure I'm near the beginning of this premiere. So that is that. So I got like five minutes. And this is the blue. I'm going to put that over here. Put that there. Put that there. I almost didn't do this video today. But I wanted to do this one today, take a nap, and if I wake up and have trouble going to sleep, I'll recreate look number two. Because that was the, uh, actually both of those vid videos, both of those clips was in one video. And so I don't think I'm going to do that now because, well for this time, because we're already at like 23 minutes. Even though my videos lately have been like <laughs> 40, 50 minutes. And none of you have complained that it's too long. And I do put timestamps. And so if you want to just jump around, you can. And I have received feedback that the timestamps are helpful. So if someone's not able to finish a video, they know where they left off at. This is an Esom brush. And it is, what number is it? This is V31. And this is Passiflori, this shade. And this eye feels like it's tearing a little bit. So let's do this side first. So this is going to go under here. And these are placed here because we use the entire bottom row. And it's like, where else are we going to put this? If I was daring, I would have put it for in a transition area. But I'm not that daring. Grace would probably do that. This is blue Morpho. I was going to say mountain, but it's not. There's a green mountain. The one next to it, that center shade, is green mountain. So we're going to put this here. After I do this, I'm going to pause because, or I could just slap on concealer, I mean, um, excuse me, mascara, and call it quits, and not do upper lash line. Hmm, what are we going to do for upper lash line? We're just going to do mascara, and we're going to call it, so that way this look will be done, and this is too, no, we're not going to do skirt. We're going to use the purple Vi Vi Violet to play off of that blue. So we're just going to put this on and that'll be it for 
the little shadow something got in my eye. I'm thinking of a purple lip. Ooh. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Shit. And I'm not I'm picking up everything, but here we go. Put the mascara on. I'm only going to do like one coat. I didn't even put on the mascara base, the Lancome Sills Boost, which I love. After um, his video, I'm going to come back and do a declutter video. Because there's just stuff here. I'm just not excited to have or I really believe I'm not going to use it. So why are you still here? And I have space for everything. Everything has a home, so it's not that I'm running out of space. My makeup station is a bistro table, so it's not a lot of space, and I like it that way because everything is right here in front of me. I can see everything unless it hides from me. If I look for something, it doesn't take long to find it. Like when I was just looking for that purple lipstick, I don't have to get up and go you know, to a drawer or a bookcase or anything. And I'm not knocking it because I know y'all have some setups for y'all makeup. My, my collection is fairly small compared to a lot. We're going to shit. Oh, shit. Okay, damn it. I just got to notice that his life just started. Fuck. I'm coming, Torrance. I'm coming. Deep purple. Something's really in this eye. I'm going to hit this on. And it's going to look crazy. Because I'm just... Hitting it on. And I can <laughs> boogie on out of here and come back later. With the same look and do a declutter video. I'm trying to get the line straight. This is as straight as it's going to get. We are done. Why I keep messing with it? Yeah, that'll just be that. And you will see me either a whole nother video or we're going to add the clip onto this one. I think it depends on how long the other one is. That is it. This is so patchy. Thank you. I need to stop going like that because that's what's making it patchy. Shit, 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 I'm late. Alright, I'm not going to block my lips. That is it. Thank you. As always, ow, in case we don't come back. As always, self-acceptance, self-love. That is the Crazy Troll Nation way. You will see me in a few seconds or in a whole nother video. Thanks.